I did somewhat experiment yesterday and that led to this development. This square wave oscillator with a 7400 chip. And um, the circuit from these books didn't work. But I went down to lower frequencies and changed the circuit somewhat. And here is the schematic. Um, it's a very simple schematic oscillator with two uh, logical ports and this the final port from that TTL chip makes it a good waveform. Here you see the waveform. I have to say that on the higher frequencies we have some ringing here. You can see that slightly here. But anyway I think it's a useful circuit and it works between uh, a lot of frequencies. When you use here a capacitor from one microfarad, let's uh, show the whole circuit. One microfarad here, you have this frequency band, uh, one tenth of that, 0 0.1 microfarad, this band. 7.8 kilohertz up to 26, 3 kilohertz and 10 nanofarad. This frequency band so quite high, and you can see that it's always a factor 10 in these frequency bands when you use other capacitors. Start, for instance, with 0 0.47, take uh, 47 nanofarad, and 4. 0.7 nanofarad here, you will find other frequency bands. And the circuit is also useful because you can use it as an ultrasound generator with a capacitor from 100 nanofarad. And you can set the frequency here. So let's hear. I hope you can hear the beep now. This is the 100 nanofarad capacitor. Oscillating on 7.8 kilohertz, and when I turn that potentiometer, that's here, you can hear the frequency going up, and also see. Now it's not audible any longer. 26 kilohertz is not. It's not possible to hear such a high frequency, but here we have say 10 kilohertz, I can hear it, and here I still cannot hear it any longer, but dogs and children can hear high frequencies. So also what we can call, call ultrasound. Now the real ultrasound um, issue starts with say 25 kilohertz or so. Here you can see what happens when you, you use another cap. Here is the circuit, by the way, on the breadboard. I now use a one microfarad cap, and the frequency is 7.79 hertz, seven, approximately 700 hertz. This is how the circuit can be made and is made in real. I hope it's visible from this distance. Very simple circuit. I've never done this before, but perhaps this can help for people that want to make it. You see the C1 cap here. And the potentium, the pot meter is here, 1K. I've used a good quality Borns potentiometer here. Very good quality. So perhaps when I have time I can show somewhat more about the ringing in the filter. Here you can see that is a factor 10. So. I hope you have enough time to draw the circuit over when you want to make it. The ringing is visible here. 
on the scope. And there's a kind of peak here, small peak here. But anyway, I think the whole circuit is quite useful. That's why I publish it. And thanks for your attention. And when I etc.